Hey everyone, welcome to Relevant Rants, and honestly, we're gonna rant today. T- today, I'm kind of pissed off. Yeah, I, I, know I mean, you are. and and I think if you guys are paying attention, <laughs> you should be a little bit pissed off. And I think after today, you probably will be. Yeah. Um, and and I'm legitimately like after seeing some of the stuff that we went over this morning, um, I'm I'm fired up. So uh, be ready. For, you should be fired up. Be, too. be ready for be ready for a, a show that's gonna yeah. gonna drop and be on fire. Wow, we gotta never believe this. We're on Spotify, we're on Apple, we're on Google. Go out there and listen to us. So we're excited about it. We're glad you're excited about it. Too. Um, before we get going, I do want to mention Covenant Coffee, uh, uh, our favorite coffee sponsor, our only coffee sponsor. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you know, we're, we're we're partnered up with them because not only do they have f- fantastic coffee, and if you're watching this. I bet you drink coffee. Go get uh, some Covenant Coffee, covenantcoffee.org. But their mission. I'd be concerned right? if you didn't drink coffee. <laughs> right? That might Caffeine. be something wrong with them. Um, their mission is to help transitional foster youth to gain job skills, life skills. Transition after they leave a home that has maybe supported them or a system that has supported them. Yeah. And, and um, you know, the, if, if you see Randy the Morton st- does a great job. That, yeah. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. Randy, uh, shout out to Randy. He does a fantastic job with those kids, and um, I, I think he really, truly has a heart to oh, serve them. Oh, well, he's succeeding in his mission That's right. with Covenant Missions, where he's actually taking and helping these kids with job, life skills, uh, giving them a, a place to live. And we're not talking 10 or 15. We're talking you know, hundreds. hundreds. Yeah. yeah. So good job, Randy Martin. Covenant Coffee helps support them. Go online, have it delivered to your house. You won't regret it, and you're supporting a great cause. That's right. Um, so our first article, we're talking about Chicago, the Chicago mayor, uh, is doing, doing something to help the grocery stores, right? Or maybe help himself. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to decide on that one, but well, you know, it all started because Walmart has closed several stores in Chicago. And if, and if you look at this article, trust me, go out and look at it. You're going to find out they're keeping submerged right below the surface the real reason Walmart is leaving. They're saying their profits are down, but it's because of the theft and and crime in Chicago. But this isn't just Chicago. We've heard of San Francisco, uh, 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 Conrad Newsom's favorite uh, uh, city in (laughs) China, right? Right, I mean, mean, now, you know, Gavin Newsom's saying the homeless people have to go too. (laughs) <laughs> well, he, he's he's trying to get set up for his presidential, presidential bid, right? <laughs> so, so, so I'm saying crime. So Chicago is very concerned that Walmart's leaving because they can't stay open with the theft, the vandalism that they're allowing in this country. Well, I, you know, the, the thing, the thing about this that really struck me is like, why are we even having, a, why are they going to set up a grocery store? Why don't they just start a home delivery service? They're yes. giving it to them for free anyway. Yes, why t- are they going to bother with making them come to the, pick it up? Just drop it off at their front door. So, so the taxpayers are just going to pay for the food that Walmart says we can't afford to give it away anymore. Right. Because that's basically what they're doing. But you know, all of, all of these crazy uh, liberal policies and everything oh. is just increasing the crime, which is, you know, causing, frankly, uh, uh, violence, murder, well, here, here, all sorts of stuff. Here we have in Seattle, a white store clerk is viciously beaten by a group of thugs over the weekend. And there's going to be no protest over this video. Yeah. What do, what do you think they're going to do about it? Uh, uh, you know, they, they beat up a white guy. Well, he was white, so he probably deserved it, right? Well, it's because they want their stuff. Well, you know what? I don't think you in, have, in Seattle have to beat somebody up, take the stuff. Just take the stuff. Right. Is, isn't it illegal to stop them? No. It is illegal. <laughs> Just take the stuff. I mean, I mean, wait, what's crazy is you think I'm nuts for saying that. It's literally like the stores have policies against it. And the state, at least in California, has laws against stopping you, the criminals you, from doing the criminal activities. You keep calling it California. China, China, Fornia. China Fornia. Okay. All right. We uh, got China uh, uh, uh. And, it, and we had just the other day. Uh, and this one, this is what fired me up this the most. This is what lit you so, up. So, uh, there was a father that was a manager of a CVS that was murdered in cold blood because he was picking on a guy who was trying to steal from him, right? Yeah. The and, guy and said. The guy the, had a family. And this is why it lit me up because he had a family, a wife, young family, young kids, like my kids' age. He was responsible. He had a job. And by him stopping somebody from stealing, they felt that he was bullying them. It's like, come on, grow yeah. up, people. 
It's like if, if you come in to steal, that's not bullying. You're, you're being stopped from being doing a criminal activity. I don't care what the law says. It's getting to that point. No, and I, I, I got to go back. I obey the law. I'm a, I'm a rule follower. Yeah. But, but these people don't care what the law says, and they're going to go out, and they're going to harm somebody who is basically saying, I'm going to have a job, support my family, and then do that. I mean, it's, it's so crazy because you even have this sh sheriff in Los Angeles County who was targeted yeah. and killed Gunned down. while he, he was Gangland killed. style. Yeah, while, it was... while he was sitting in his patrol car. And, he, and why? Because probably because he was in uniform, uh, potentially uh, oh, he, he, also he, just happened to be white. He was targeted and they had a, a, a manhunt and they found the guy. But the problem is the crime was committed in Los Angeles. So so they're very lenient on crime in Los Angeles. I mean, you have a no bail thing. I mean, they have a DA, which is Soros sponsored, who goes soft on crime. He was getting in trouble. So they quit that news. Uh, well, going well you, you wonder. So so I, I want to kind of connect some dots here. Right. Yeah. Because you're like, well, liberal policies. Yes, it's liberal policies. Very obvious. But the thing is, uh, this this all is tied in, at least from from my perspective, um, with uh, mental illness. Right. So you see all this stuff, defund the police. Let's not do anything about the mental illness. We got homeless running everywhere in at least California, but I think other liberal cities are seeing the same. And um, this is the kind of shit that's happening because nobody's taking responsibility and doing anything about it. We stopped servicing the mentally ill like how, how many years ago and and uh, the repercussions have come and we're gonna we're gonna talk about later on in the show some of those repercussions we already knew they were gonna come but the liberals are like oh there's repercussions from the dumb things that we did of course there's repercussions we told you they were gonna happen now they're happening and you're wondering why gee let's let's think about it for a second chicago walmart can't stay in business <laughs> san francisco the stores that have pulled out of there now gavin newsom saying you can't be homeless on the street of uh, um, uh, San Francisco anymore. So now they've sued the state of California to say, yes, we can. It's crazy out there. Well, so then you, then you have another. This video is very shocking. So if you don't want to see something shocking, don't watch our video of this, but it's not ours. There was a Las Vegas retired police chief killed. Now, this is interesting because this is the way the Las um, Vegas Revo Review Journal published it. Retired police chief killed in bike crash. <laughs> So, so it's not a bike crash. These two. I mean, technically, it was on a bike and he crashed, but there, it wasn't. Yes. An, it wasn't an accident. Yes. So you even still have the publishing of these news articles where they don't want to say the truth. Right. So these two thugs, Tom, killers. Can, can we? Can we? Can we joke. say they were African American? Yes. They, they two killers. That, well, we're not saying it. The news is saying right. it. Right. It's. I mean, it's the truth. They've right? arrested, so we're just, we're they, just they've arrested the them both, and I think they are um, uh, minors. But that shouldn't mean. But this is anything. Tom. This is mental illness that's come about. Like and and um, Alex I think is it's probably, okay because uh, they joked about it on social well, media. You put it on social media. This is and Alex is probably going to kick my butt for saying this. But things like GTA, Grand Theft, Theft Auto, it, D D, uh, you know, tr tr training us that hey, this kind of stuff's okay. And then defund the police. Let's let's uh, ramp up crime. Let's let's make well, crime okay. Well, like the, this is the kind of. Sh that happens well this is a quote from elon musk elon musk says an innocent man was murdered in cold blood while riding his bicycle the killers joked about it on social media yet where is media and they're outrage? not that's what's wild right so now i love the way he ends it now you begin to understand i can't see it. the lie the lie and this is elon musk this man is former so, liberal himself. He, he is. And, and he's, he's so far from conservative on the right, but he gets it. And if you don't get it out there, you could be a victim of what's happening and what we're reporting right here. So, so, so we have a New York governor who two years ago said, welcome migrants. You are so welcome. Come. That's what statute of Liberty stands for. And she just changed her mind a few days ago we see, say you are welcome here. We are welcome with open arms and we'll work to keep you safe. We have to let the word out that when you come to New York, we're not going to have more hotel rooms. We don't have capacity. So we have to also message properly that we're at our limit 
if you're going to leave your country, go somewhere else. But the smarter thing is to apply for asylum before you leave your country. All right. So uh, she she talked about two years ago. She said it was come, okay. Yeah. Please. Well, we come with open arms. That's how we, we built we, this country. We told them the whole time there's going to be repercussions from it, and now she's like, oh, gee, the repercussions. Just like I was talking about before, right? There's repercussions to your dumb ass actions. So so now she's saying, and she's a Democratic governor. She's saying. If you're a migrant, don't come to New York. Gee, you're not, because we can't handle all of them. You're not Why do you think the hotel? border states have been staying for years, you're, right? You're not going to get a hotel room. You need to seek legal asylum from the country you're out before you come. What is, what is the craziness? That's all the conservative or the um, uh, GOP has been saying there's got to be a process and Biden says we want more. I mean, you even have his press secretary yesterday not even answering the question on the open border problem. It's like if you guys can't see this, it's obvious. It's happening before our very eyes. They're yeah, it's, it's, it's like uh, Jean Pierre uh, went, in, went in Biden's room when he was sleeping, which is probably most of the time. And, uh, hey, Biden, what do, what do you think about the immigration problem? Uh, uh, more of them. Bring more, more. Uh, oh, New York doesn't like it. More, whatever. We'll, they'll figure it out. We don't care what New We, York we need more voters for the Democrat Party. That's really what they're saying. Because <laughs> we're losing them in the, the other states. So it's, it's, if, 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 if you don't agree, just go out and do a search. Go to DuckDuckGo when you do your search. Here we have Russell Brand, and Russell Brand's been all over the media, but he's always been all over the media. Right, right. He, you know, he it, was a crazy liberal for a long time. Oh, and my <laughs> gosh. And 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 before he um, started making sense of what he was saying when he was questioning their, um, their um, um, procedures the last few years, this guy has had sexual issues for. Ever probably his entire life. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I, I think he calls it his kink. Or I mean, go back and check this guy out. And he was a bad dude, and and everybody knew he was a bad dude, but no one had a problem with it until he started coming out questioning policies and procedures. Yeah, and and now they're going back and they're 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 wanting they demonetized his YouTube channel. And they 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 they've taken him down and 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 okay. And, and I want to take a minute to make something very clear. It, We're not in support of sexual no, misconduct or sexual assault not. in any way, shape, or form whatsoever. So let's just get that out in the, the open. In, in case you're wondering, which if you're wondering, why are you watching? But uh, just want to make it very very clear. We're not in support of that. However, uh, we do know we do see uh, the double standard here, right? Because he's been he's been a, a freaking weirdo uh, his entire life, and and I, I'm. I'm I'm sitting here wondering, well, gee, do we really want him on the conservative side as a weirdo? Uh, we don't need more weirdos. Leave all the liberals or the weirdos on the left side. But either way, um, they weren't do they weren't really uh, you know pursuing or doing anything about it until he he decided hey, to start questioning hey, hey, their so, agenda. So if you go out and um, you have R. Kelly's channel is uh um but the channel's been removed yes, but his songs are still but on his songs on are still and, there and he's doing time as a pedophile in prison right now as he should be yes i mean i i get some of this this but that you have to have a standard and it's not fair i i just got a a a, a episode that i did on another podcast that i <laughs> that i do just got removed from youtube because we talked about colloidal silver and i just so are we going to talk about it here too well no we'll get we'll, we'll get defunded <laughs> you, 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 you know what i've been told the hacks we have to do mike uh, we have oh to, yeah we got we, we gotta have, to have, have code a, words we have to have a legend yeah and then we have to have a, a code word so so audience if we want to talk about colloidal silver i think we'll just say the word silver yeah well we you know what what we might do in the future is actually put up a, a, a legend an, another yeah another another video on another platform yeah. so you guys could but but, but we, we, we got we, 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 we got removed from youtube we got a letter from the CDC <laughs> that said we were giving disinformation. I'm we like, we oh. need to get a picture of that letter, Tom. <laughs> and 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 as 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 we got removed that episode, it's like you got to be kidding me. I mean, you know, it's it's one thing to uh, go about it one way, but if you're talking about something in therapeutics that have been proven to work. I don't know if it's any longer disinformation. Well, the they, they want y'all to take the death jab instead. So, so you know, we, we got and, a little bit and, of uh, what, what and, do we call uh, 
uh, population control going on, maybe? Or? I, I, I'm <laughs> telling you, it is so... Claudio Silver doesn't really help with that. <laughs> yeah. So, so if you're out there, do your homework. Use your brain. It's got to be something that God has given us to be able to use. Yeah, spe so, speaking of so go, so, yeah, so speaking of the the death jab and Claudio Silver, um, I, I thought we could bump this article up and then we'll because come back of to the CBS other ones. CBS um, news break uh, talked about the entire world needs absolute transparency on CIA COVID allegations. Yeah, because they knew. Tom, what do we mean? What do we mean when we say that? It, it, basically, CIA hasn't been transparent. Oh what no! What? The heck? Are you kidding? surprised? Yeah. They knew about it the whole damn time. But guess what? We're the crazy conspiracy theorists of, of all of us, right? Um, we, we said we said that the it had origins in a lab in China. Well, the CIA knew about it the whole to damn well, time well, as we, well. We, we, we have Stanford University professor Dr. Jayanta. I can't pronounce his last name, so I'm not gonna, <laughs> um, says the entire world needs absolute transparency on the CIA COVID nineteen they do. origins allegation because apparently, based on what prof Professor uh, Doctor Janta thinks or says, is that they knew that it was lab generated way back, and the CIA changed their stance on it. Well, you know, this doctor's alleging that they knew about it. I don't think. Uh, I, I, I think it's happened, but it's interesting that it's a California University, Stanford, um, California. And they're just saying, hey, well, I guess we had one of those bio labs in Fresno, California. Right. That it, that, that <laughs> has just vanished off the media uh, uh, radar. And, Bring uh, up that reference for us, Alex, in post. And, and, and Gavin Newsom had to know about it because he's the... He's the uh, czar of California. Well, he, he's got plausible deniability, yeah, right? Com Comrade Newsom is our czar of California. So he had to know about it. I mean, it's just like, what the heck? So, so there's, we, we're being lied to, okay? Right? So, so, so here we go. I mean, we, we, we've, got a, <laughs> we've got other people that are saying out loud what we're thinking. The DNC committee members say he is perplexed by polls showing Biden Biden struggling to rally Democrats around his reelection big. A big part of it is just pure ageism. I, I, I think they're, they're, they're being they're, discriminatory they're, by not wanting Joe Biden. Gee, they, they're nobody saying, actually wants Joe Biden. Even the Dems don't want Joe Biden. <laughs> they just don't want Trump. So it's it's not really an election about Joe Biden versus Trump. It's like we like Trump or we don't. That's what the election's actually going to be about. So there's a CPS, uh, CBS uh, a news poll finds concerns about Biden finishing a second term. I mean, I'm shocked he finished this one, frankly, but th these well, are, he hasn't technically, these yet, are so the, we'll still see. these are the party's news station. And then the CNN. CNN, the communist news network turns on Biden and exposes his history of false claim. What and he has done. I don't know if it's similar things, but he's sort of told some stories that don't line up quite like this before. He had, this president has a, a pattern at this point of either inventing or embellishing stories about his own past, his biography. He did it three times in one speech last month alone. Uh, he claimed he had witnessed a bridge collapse in Pittsburgh when he actually showed up about six hours later. He claimed that his grandfather had died just days before he was born himself at the same hospital. In fact, his grandpa died more than a year before in a different state, not, not the same hospital. Um, and uh, and he also repeated a favorite false story that I and others have debunked over and over again about a supposed conversation with an Amtrak train conductor he was friends with, who was actually deceased at the time the conversation would have had to take place. And that's not all. There are some more serious ones in, in my view. Uh, previously in his presidency, he claimed at one point he'd been arrested during a civil rights protest when in other versions of the story, he just said an officer had. <laughs> uh, they roast Joe Biden for lying. This is the Communist News Network. They're saying he's a liar. Joe Biden, you're a liar, according to CNN. <laughs> and, and probably according to a lot of other people, too. Well, well, I think he's a liar. I think he's old. I think he forgets him. I mean, honestly, if he, I'm old. I mean, he, he's, he's forgetful. Yeah. He's not all there. Look at him this last few days. But, but, you know, we, we were talking, <laughs> we, we got CNN, but then we were talking before and we don't have an article to bring up, but uh, if you if you all are paying attention, uh, Rupert Murdoch just stepped down from yes, Fox he did. And, and I've been saying for a while, like Fox news. Yeah. We got Hannity over there. We have some other guys. Tucker just left, but really Lynn, they've been uh, trying to torpedo Fox for years, but um, frankly, they were the first ones to call the election for Biden. 
Yeah, they right? were. And um, they I, tried to switch teams. Yeah, <laughs> they <laughs> and, don't and want I think, them. <laughs> I, I think they're just coming in on a Trojan horse. Really, frankly, at some point we'll see if this if that station falls or what. You know, they're trying to do some other stuff. But I, I don't know. If CNN's trying to pick up on their viewers, but uh, saying that Biden's a liar is a big change for CNN. Yeah. Well, and, and you're seeing even your generation, Tom. Um, you the know, old generation. older, yeah. Um, you know, my, my I was talking with my dad last night, and he's like, "Hey, you know, I'm I'm dropping uh, our cable, which I'm not going to name any names, but I'm dropping our cable news channel uh, or news uh, uh, or ca- not news channel. We're dropping our cable provider uh, to go to another uh, streaming service instead. So really, I you know, there's a lot of shakeup that's coming. Our, our football fans just uh, for Monday night football and Thursday night football have to go to streaming apps. Yeah. Well, and, and even we were having problems watching college games yeah. because, uh, you know, ESPN, Dis- you know, uh, Disney but and Mike, all of this. This is a blessing for us because if you like what we do, go out to 511 Media Group yeah. on YouTube because they're still allowing us to be on YouTube. <laughs> we'll see how long that happens. <laughs> but you can catch us on all the other uh, networks, um, not networks, the uh, streaming platforms. Services, and, platforms. Yeah. But, but I believe, and I keep preaching this wherever I go to speak, um, that people are the new platform, mm-hmm. you know, and people are going to get the truth as long as the powers that be in YouTube and stuff kind of well, seeing a shift in media. Yeah, we are. And, and we align ourselves with the daily wire. We align ourselves with turning point, uh, faith, turning point, USA, turning point action. You know, we're just trying to get some truth out there and shed a little bit of a light on what's not being told to you in the mainstream media yeah so yeah. anyway um hope hope that you guys are just as fired up as i am because it's time to stop just sitting around and doing nothing about it and obviously voting is something you can do oh, which we're going to do that next year but um there's what can you do how can you take it take a stand and really stand up for what's right because it, we're at a place where it's uh wrong not just wrong versus right it's good versus evil uh how can you get involved in the school board or get involved in in you know local yeah. issues local things going on um, I, I i've just spoke to a lot of christians and the platforms that i'm given about the biggest missionary field in america yeah. is the public school system yeah. My wife's in the public school system. Strong believer makes a difference. Our friend Nick of Lajos uh, in the Ventura um, County School District, and, and he's making a difference on what he believes. And uh, it just it just is. I mean, it's uh, um, we know Dr. Rizzo here in town, you know, with the uh, um, um, Bakersfield City School District. You can make a difference. Just don't think that you can't. We're going to say right. that. Just don't think that you can't because you can. And I think that's our mic drop moment. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Have a great day. God bless.